Hello everyone and welcome back to wildlife camp and we are currently in here with some very fuzzy rumped little baby zebras Oh my gosh, they're so cute, but we are trying to take care of one of the zebras right now Let's see impressive looking animal with them So Solok once again brought us a animal in need of care and that turns out to be this little zebra Oh gosh, apparently I fed you somehow. Oh my gosh. I think he fed himself <gasps> That's so wonderful! Look, he's scratching his... <laughs> he's scratching his side against this rock. Well, it looks like he has actually taken care of himself, so that's a good thing. I think we need to do just a little bit more work with this little one to make him happy. So let's grab some water and make sure that he has the water that all of the mammals need. Each mammal needs fresh water. There you go. Alright, is that gonna be good? All right, so that takes care of that one. Maybe it was this zebra we needed to take care of. Oh, look, and you can just like, even after you use it, you can continue to hold the waters. Very nifty. So if you have more than one. All right, hey, come here. I thought you could at least, come on. No, I don't want to feed you. I want to feed you. Come here. Come on, little ones. Are you, are you gonna ignore me? Come on, you need the water. I saw you asking for it a second ago. There we go. All right, so I think we've taken good care of this little one because it was it was one of these two zebras that needed the attention so we can go and check so, Okay, let's go talk to him unless did he bring another animal? Please tell me he did not bring me a yet another animal. No stay here stay here No, stay here stay stay. That's right stay. Okay almost almost ran off with one of the baby zebras Please tell me he didn't bring me another one. I'm begging you sir. I'm begging you Hi, nice to see you again. I found this poor zebra in the savanna. I think it needs some medical attention. All right, well, we've taken care of all of the zebras. So I think he's just a little bit confused about... Yeah, we've taken care of all the zebras. The zebras, because I was looking at the gazelles. So I think he's just a little confused about if it's been uh, completely tended to. But it has been completely tended to, so that's okay. I guess we should try training it. Because that is the one thing we're sort of struggling with right now, is figuring out... Can we actually... In this task? Yes, in this task, please. Okay, because we did- Hey, no! I didn't want to make him disappear! Oh, no! I made the zebra disappear! I didn't mean to do that! This other one's like, oh my gosh, what did you just do? He doesn't know what we just did. Okay, let's see. Maybe we need to care for him a little bit more? So what we need to do is train up some of the animals. Um, and once we train them, then we can release them into the wild. So let's actually go ahead and convince this zebra to come with me. There you go. And now it's gonna follow me. So let's go bathe the zebra right over here. And then once we get the little zebra bathed up. Oh look, you can see he's starting to get a little bit dirty. All right, so we'll wanna grab the sponge. Okay, brush the animal it says. Okay, we'll grab the brush. And apparently that's all he needed. Are you clean now? That's all the care he needed? Oh, and he's arrived with a gazelle. Okay, so that's happening. This man is not going to let me rest, is he? All right, no, stay here, little one. Okay, so we're gonna leave the zebra here. Poor thing, he probably has no idea. I have no idea what I did with that last zebra. I wouldn't blame him if he's a little nervous around me. Oh, and we have an injured baby little gazelle. Okay, let's do this. Hello, I found this gazelle on one of my trips through the savanna. It looks very ill. Do you think you'll be able to cure it? I hope so. All right, so let's come over and take care of this little one. Because you guys, we actually did stock up. Oh gosh, we stocked up quite a bit on a whole bunch of different medications last time. That's where we spent all of the money that we earned from healing the animals. And we've been healing a lot of animals. We're actually working our way up on healer. We've increased in healer capabilities. We've increased, oh, hang on little one, I'll feed you, hang on. Let's bring him over in here. We're increasing on the keeper capability and we're also trying to improve our trainer. Cause I'm hoping if we improve our trainer, we'll be able to earn the experience we need to train the animals up and release them to the wild. I'm sort of stuck on that right now. All right, so let's go ahead and examine this gazelle. Make sure it's okay. Hang in there, little guy. All right, there you go. We'll figure out what's going on with you. I've got medications for pretty much everything except for driving out some some bad juju from you. Upset stomach. Look, and I have the devil's claw. Wonderful. I already have that from having worked with uh, some of the animals in the past. Sweet, we've healed him. Now we want to satisfy all of its needs. And I can take him in with all of the other gazelles because goodness gracious, we have a lot of other gazelles. Look at how happy he is. 
Look at the little one. I want to I wanna look at him. Oh gosh, he's so cute. Look at him. All right, so I do have some food. If we can just go ahead and feed him right away. Hi, there you go. Oh gosh, she's bringing me another zebra? You just showed up with this gazelle. I'm begging you. I still need a little bit more time. I need to be able to train these guys up. I think he's just going to have a non-stop like, selection of these little ones for me. So, all right. I need to feed you again because you need more water. And is that going to be enough to take care of you? Do I need to give you another little pet? All right. There's that. He should be good. I should have... Oh, I already got the funds from taking care of him. Okay. I just didn't notice. All right. Well, let's go ahead. We're going to train this gazelle really quickly. And then we're going to come back for the zebra because I think he's just going to non-stop keep bringing me things. Apparently, I can get a helicopter at some point, but I really need to figure out how to start releasing these animals to the wild. So let's try training the gazelle and seeing if that's going to improve my trainer level enough that we can earn more training things. So let's try... Let's do, let's do the swimming. Let's swim with the little gazelle again because that was kind of fun. All right, go little guy, go! Go little gazelle! Swimming with the gazelles! Try to do this pretty quickly. There you go. All right. Wonderful. Move those little legs. <laughs> and this actually is super important. And it is one of the things that takes the longest when you're running like a wildlife sanctuary. Is just going nice and slow and teaching the animals. Because really they would have all day in the wild to practice these kinds of skills and to develop them a little bit better. All right. We've managed to successfully train the animal. Have I trained myself though? <gasps> I think the next one's going to do it. Okay, let's do running and try not to get sick. Oh my gosh, look at him go. <laughs> running with the gazelles. This little one is off. Oh my goodness. I think he's got some great... You've achieved great things as an animal trainer and have now reached the new trainer level. You will be able to train another ability. Paw. Yes. Okay, so we just need to train a ton of the animals. And then as we go up on levels, we'll be able to go ahead and teach the animals the skills they need to live in the wild. So we can start releasing everybody. All right, so there's that. Should we do, can you teach climb? No, not to this little one. What about fight? That's right, you can teach this guy to fight. Adada, adada, that's right, that's right. Take me on. That's right, you wanna fight me. You definitely wanna fight me. It takes a little while to teach him to fight though. <laughs> it's like trying to teach him to headbutt something. So I think once you learn, once you teach them all of the different uh, skills, I don't know how standing on your back paws, I guess for a lion, that would really help if you're trying to teach a lion cub, okay, come on, how to bat something down from a tree or often when you see lions hunting on the savanna, like if you look at the, the documentaries, I have not yet had the amazing opportunity to go to Africa. I've actually never even had the opportunity just yet to leave North America, though as you guys know, next semester, not next semester, but next summer, I will be going to Thailand most likely with my beloved Chip, so I'm bringing you guys along with me. I wonder what kind of wild animal re rehabilitation they may have in Thailand. That would be really interesting to learn. There we go! Alright, so this little one's been trained up a bit. And we now can teach a new ability. And that's good because the lion needs to learn some new abilities. And the things it needs to learn is paw, beg, walk on hind legs, bowing, and walking on front legs. Why it needs to learn those things? Not entirely sure. Not sure if I would really agree with teaching a lion how to beg. Like, is that, we're going to translate that into interpreting social behavior among lions. So we're going to say that it's not begging from humans or walking on hind legs for the benefit of humans as much as it's trying to, there you go. Oh gosh, and this little one needs some attention. Oh my goodness, you're so messy. How did this happen? Hang in there, little guy. You're so messy and it's so lonely. Oh, we need to go ahead and take care of it. Come on, little one. All right. You definitely need a bath. Oh, my goodness. Let me go ahead. Okay, apparently I need to use the, the scrub -a doo or the shower instead. There we go. Look at how messy you got. How did you get all covered with all this dirt? All right, now we need to use a brush. So then we'll swap to the brush. How did you get all this dirt? But yeah, if you look closely, you can actually find the dirt on the animals. To be able to brush them off. There we go. <laughs> I don't know how you got so messy. Are you going to be okay now? Yeah, you just need a little bit more care for cleaning up. Oh, and it still has the bandage on its leg. Gosh, that's adorable. All right, so let's come out. 
I'm sorry, Mr. Zebra. It's been so busy. You really have no idea. It's just chaotic. Oh, little baby zebra. Oh, gosh. Hi, little baby zebra. Oh, my goodness. So it's going to follow us now. There we go. Bonded with it. He's really concerned for the wildlife, so he always is bringing us new ones. All right, let's go ahead. Now, we should have enough medication. I don't know if I have enough wild plants, but we should have enough medication to be able to take care of this little one. Now, the other thing I am thinking about snagging more of, though, is training the animals. Oh, I need Devil's Claw. Oh, because it has an upset stomach, and I don't have any Devil's Claw. Oh, no. All right, little guy, you stay here. The least he can do is watch after you for me. And then we'll have to work on, like, training up my training skills so that I can earn new abilities. Man, too bad I can't train the animals to help me find some of these plants. All right, so I haven't found Devil's Claw yet. That's actually one of the plants I have not located. So we're going to have to look pretty carefully. Oh, my goodness. Isn't this cool? I love how you can, like, look around and you can try to dig up wild plants. That's just so fun. All right, let's come this way. Anything over here? Anything over here? We really want to see something glowing, I think. I did harvest up a lot of things. I haven't actually found Devil's Claw yet. Um, is this something? No, that's not something. That's just a rock. I found some medical grasses before. And I found some roots before. I guess if I can't find anything, let's go talk to the people in town. Maybe they know of a place where I can find more of the herbs. Because I should have found... That's the, the spot, the next spot. We don't want to go to the savanna. Oh, here's something. Oh, gosh. What is this? Whoa, I walked on it. Wow. I'm standing on it. Okay. Let's get off of it. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. Let's get off this. Wow. It looks cool, though. Doesn't it look awesome? And let's go ahead and gather it up. Very fun. I think this is going to be the one we're looking for because I don't think we've collected any of this. Yeah, Devil's Claw. We got some. Okay. Ooh, and here's some more of those guys. Okay, so we can gather up the medical herbs over here. Here's another one. Man, and we're right under a baboa tree. How fun is that? Okay, we'll run this way. So collecting wild medicines for tummy aches and baby zebras. <laughs> I really didn't see my day going this way, but I'm not going to complain. Oh, look, there's more. Wow, there's a lot more over here. Okay, we'll gather up this. I wonder if gardening... Can I do something? I'm going to be really excited if we can figure out some way to do some gardening. Because we did get a gardening can. And apparently we do have the camera. So I think we just need to continue to like unlock things and walk through and take care of things. This is a lot more in-depth than I thought it would be. I'm really loving it. All right, let's come over here. And gather up this plant and then we'll come over here gather up this plant is this aloe vera it looks a lot like aloe vera to me but i think it's called something else yeah no that is aloe vera good for burns wow there's a whole bunch is that a that looks like a den for something doesn't it that's really cool that does look like a den for something though so we'll have to be careful all right there's that and then come over here and collect this and there's one more devil's root and then one more of the root plant, the root extract. And then I think we'll be good because there's, is it over here? Here it is. All right, we'll gather this one up and then we'll go back <laughs> and we'll heal up the little zebra and we might train the lion to paw at things and we'll see if that's going to help him out. Wow, there's so many of these. I hope I'm not like over harvesting them, but I have so many animals that I need to heal. So we'll gather these up. I wonder if I can sell the plants. I, I'm really excited to see what the gardening thing might have. Because it's very little instruction. And a lot of running around and just doing your best. Alright. With what your knowledge is. Oh, here's another aloe vera. With what knowledge you have. Anything else? I think we're good now. Collect a little bit more aloe vera. I wonder what aloe vera is native to. I know they have huge greenhouses worth of aloe vera. Um, okay, there's the village in mexico actually i know they grow a lot of aloe vera in greenhouses in mexico all right we're gonna head towards camp i don't even have a pelican yet we haven't even seen a fraction of all of the different animals we could be treating all right let's go get the zebra and cure our little zebra friend all right come here little one i've got your medicine now i need to take you inside of the tent though to treat you so let's go ahead and go in there 
I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to train all these guys and take care of all these guys. So here's the medicine. Where's my aha? There it is. The devil's claw extract. Yes! All right, and we've healed the little one. Now, how are you feeling? You're pretty hungry, so let's go ahead and try feeding you. Can I feed him? Come here, little one. Yeah, we'll be able to feed him. If I no, that's the medicine. That's the medicine grass. I need this. There we go. The grass. All right. And hopefully, by feeding him this grass, that should make him healthy enough. I think we need to also take care of his thirst, and that should make him healthy enough that they'll give us the little reward and we can take this one. <laughs> we can add you to the pile. Come along, little zebra. Oh my gosh, they have to know beg, jumping, paw, walk on hind legs, run, bowing, fighting, walk on front legs, and swimming. <gasps> swimming, what, come on. All right, well, have we not taken enough care of the, the zebra? Does it need more care? I, I could have sworn that we've taken care of the zebra. I think he's just like confused about this zebra. All right, well, let's go ahead and ride him. <laughs> Cause why not? We're gonna ride the baby zebra. Woohoo! And let's take him over to the training section. And we'll give him one or two little things of training. I think we'll get we'll train him to paw. So let's see what happens if we train a zebra to paw. And let's see where we're at on our training. Alright, we're right there. So apparently training you can really you can learn a lot. So here's paw. Train the animal to give you its paw. Yeah, there you go, little one. Aren't you a smart little guy? Look at those big eyes. I forget how interesting your eyes look. Okay, come on. Come on. Do I just have to like stand here? <laughs> oh my gosh, training. All right, you guys, I'm gonna train the zebra for a, a little bit. And then next time we will see what else we can do. Hopefully gaining some more skills, teaching our animals more skills so that they can go off and live happily ever after in the savannah, or at least as happily as the skills we teach them can keep them alive. And I will see you guys next time. We'll have to see if he's gonna keep bringing us zebras or if we're gonna get a giraffe or maybe we're gonna get a pelican. I think there's even monkeys. So there's quite a few animals and we still have a helipad and a gardening can and a camera and things we haven't used yet. So I feel like we're getting closer and closer to stumbling on even more little mysteries. So, all right, there you go, little zebra. There, all right. So I'm gonna train him up a little bit and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.